Hey everyone, welcome to Glue La La. My name is Jess and I love creating home decor on a budget using items found at the Dollar Tree. Here in Western PA, spring is really starting to come around. So today I have three different spring wreaths using one of these 3D wire wreath forms found at the Dollar Tree. Even though I love a traditional floral spring wreath, I tried to use some other materials to make these wreaths unique. All right, everyone, let's get started. For the first wreath, in addition to the 3D wire wreath form, you'll also need one of these eight inch wreath rings that you can find at the Dollar Tree. And these 3D forms have four rings on them, so that's why I decided to try to make three different wreaths out of them. And each ring is about the same size, and some of them have this post on them, and some of them have a little tab on them, but they're pretty easy to remove with wire cutters, and these posts actually come off pretty easy just with a pair of pliers if you bend it back and forth a few times. So once I had the outer ring prepped, then on the smaller wreath, I only needed the inside ring. So I used my wire cutters again, and I kind of had to wiggle it around a little bit to kind of create a score line on the post that was connecting it, and then I was able to snap it off pretty easy. I think if I would have had a bigger pair of wire cutters, this would have come off a little bit easier, but I didn't have too hard of a time with it. After I had both rings ready to go, I took a pack of this jute cord from Walmart and they do sell jute at the Dollar Tree too, but I like this one from Walmart because it's just a little bit thicker. And when I'm covering pieces with jute, I like to use the thicker stuff because it goes just a little bit faster. So I started out by taking the jute and I'm just wrapping it around. I used a little bit of hot glue to hold it in place and I'm gonna cover both rings with this same thicker jute cord. And then after I get things wrapped with jute, I always like to take a lighter and just burn off the little fringy pieces that are left over, but you don't have to do that. That's just something that I prefer to do. Once I had both rings wrapped in the jute, I wanted to start weaving some more of the jute in between the two rings to kind of connect them. So I wanted the smaller ring to be pretty off center because I knew that there would it would be pretty hard to kind of get that ring centered in the middle. So if I pushed it over to one side and down a little bit, then it would be purposefully asymmetric, which makes it look a little bit better. Um, so I started out by using the jute and I hot glued it onto the outer ring and then I hot glued it onto the inner ring and then I tried to keep the tension while I started weaving the jute in between the two rings. And once I had a few wraps around both rings, I kind of reinforced it a little bit with a little bit more hot glue and then it was able to stay in place a little bit better. And I moved to the opposite side and I did a few wraps on that side as well. Um, just to kind of hold the ring in place and then I was able to just start weaving the jute in and out of the two rings until I had it covered as much as I liked. You can wrap it as many times as you want. Um, after I had a few rounds done I kind of got the kind of got the feel of where I was going with this. So once you start wrapping you'll kind of have an idea of where you want to stop with yours. Once I had the two rings wrapped how I like them, I decided to decorate the one side a little bit. So I took a few of the ferns from the Dollar Tree and I had to cut them down just a little bit because they were just a bit too long, I thought, for the size of this wreath. So I laid down a few of the ferns and then I created just a simple bow using some black and white striped ribbon that I already had on hand. And I added that to the center of the ferns and then I tucked in just a few little flowers just to finish off the wreath. I 
I really love how this wreath turned out. I think it kind of crosses that line between boho and farmhouse, which is how I do a lot of my decorating. I, I, I like a lot of farmhouse, but I like to have a little bit of touches of other styles too. And this would be easy to coordinate with your house, depending on what color flowers and ribbons you use. So for the second wreath, I found these really cool circular placemats at the Dollar Tree. And I thought that that would make a pretty cool um, base for another wreath. So I took another one of the rings from that 3D wreath form and this one had the little tabs on it and those were super easy to come off and I found my larger wire cutters for that so I think that helped too. So I laid the wire form on top of the placemat and I left about um, three quarters of an inch around the outside. So then I took a Sharpie and I drew about the same width on the inside and then I was able to just cut it out. I didn't actually film that part um, because I forgot to. <laughs> But um, you get the idea. It just kind of created a ring. And then I used some hot glue to secure it down. And I was not sure about this part because I wasn't sure if the hot glue would actually melt the placemat or not, but it didn't. And then to reinforce it, since there, the center part of the placemat was still there, I just cut strips uh, from that center part and I laid a little bit of hot glue down on top of the wire wreath form. And then I just added a strip on top of it. That way it blended into uh, the placemat that was already there, but it just made it a little bit extra secure having those little tabs there to kind of hold everything in place. To keep the decorating simple on this wreath, I just found two bunches of flowers that I liked at the Dollar Tree. And I really liked these wildflower bunches. I liked the greenery that was mixed in with the flowers. And I just bent them slightly so that they would kind of have the same shape as the wreath form. And I didn't even bother taking the flowers or anything off of the, the stems. I just used it as a whole piece because that just made it a little bit easier. So I added a little bit of hot glue to the two stems and then I used a little bit of jute just to tie them together to make it a bit more secure. And then I hot glued both bunches to the bottom of the wreath and then I used a little bit more jute to tie it onto the wreath um, just to make it a little bit more sturdy. And then I did create a pretty big fluffy bow using some burlap ribbon. And I kind of did the fold over method where you just fold pieces onto itself and then fluff it out. I have a really hard time explaining how to make bows. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description box to uh, one of my favorite YouTube channels. Um, it's Olivia's Romantic Home. I'm sure you've heard of her, but she does amazing bows and she has a really easy way of explaining them, them to you. So once I attached the bow onto the wreath form, I used a few more pieces of the placemat just to glue onto the back of the pipe cleaner just to help hold everything in place. And this wreath came together so quickly and I really love how it turned out. I love the blue from the placemat. I just think that's such a pretty color. And I really like these wildflower bunches. I keep looking for more at my Dollar Tree because I wish I would have bought a few more because I love the greenery that's mixed in with the flowers. For the last wreath, I took a pack of these craft sticks from the Dollar Tree, and these are the tongue depressor size sticks, not the popsicle size sticks. And I'm using the Antique Wax by Waverly, and I just always like to brush this on and then wipe it off with either a paper towel or a baby wipe, uh, depending on what kind of color I want. If I want it a little bit darker, I usually use a paper towel, and if I want it a little bit lighter, I use a baby wipe. Once I had, I think I stained about 10 sticks all together. So once I had them all stained, I cut them down into two and a half inch pieces. So that left, that left me with about 20 pieces and I don't think I quite used all of them. So I laid my silicone mat down and I just started hot gluing the sticks onto the wreath form. And I did overlap the sticks just slightly, maybe about a quarter of an inch. And I just repeated that process the whole way around the wreath form. And then once I had all of the sticks in place, I flipped it over and I ran hot glue all along the backside of it just to reinforce it a little bit more.
They have these little home signs at the Dollar Tree and I liked it how it was but the frame itself was just a little bit too neat for my taste because I wanted this to have just a little bit more of a rustic look. Um, so I just used my sanding block and I roughed it up pretty good around the edges and then I used the antique wax again and I brushed it on and wiped it off but because this frame is actually covered in kind of like a plasticky plate paper material. I'm not really sure what it is. The antique wax actually only grabbed onto the the parts that I had sanded off. But I really liked how it looked then. It just kind of roughed it up just a bit more. Um, and then to be able to attach this to the wreath, I took four lengths of jute and I hot glued a piece in each corner. So I laid a little bit of hot glue down and I put the jute on the corner and then I put more hot glue over top because I really wanted this to be secure. And then those are the pieces that I'll be able to use to tie it right onto the wreath form. And then if you were lucky enough to grab a few extra of these floral garlands in the fall, um, I decided this would look really cute wrapped around the outside edge of this. But I do like how it looks without this floral garland. Um, but I just, I know this isn't available right now in the store, but if you have something like that on hand, you could use, um, something like that. And then I was able to just tie that sign into place. And once I had all four pieces tied on, I did add just a little bit more hot glue on the back just to make it extra secure. I love how this wreath turned out too. I think it kind of could go with more of a primitive style farmhouse or a modern style farmhouse. And I like that you could switch out the center. You could put whatever you wanted to in there. I just really like that home sign. Here's a final look at all three of the wreaths that I created today. I think my favorite is probably this first one, the, the two rings that I wrapped with the jute. It was a lot of work. It took a lot of time to get everything wrapped, but I really like how it turned out. And I like that it has a good mix of the boho and the farmhouse. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you like these projects, make sure you hit that thumbs up button because it really helps my channel grow. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my future videos. I post a new DIY every Wednesday. Thanks again, have a great week, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.